Unveiling the mystery, night takes over. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating English phrase, night takes over. This phrase is not just about the time of day, but it's loaded with meaning and imagery. Let's explore together what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. Stay tuned. Night takes over is a phrase that paints a vivid picture. It's used to describe the transition from day to night, but it's more than just a literal description of time. This phrase embodies a sense of change, a shift from light to darkness, from activity to calm or even mystery. It's often used to set a mood or atmosphere in storytelling, poetry, and everyday conversation. In literature, night takes over can be used symbolically. It might represent a change in mood, a turning point in a story, or the onset of a more mysterious or challenging period. Writers use it to add depth and emotion to their narratives. When you hear or read this phrase, think about what night symbolizes. Mystery, calmness, a time for rest, or even fear and unknown. Let's see how night takes over can be used in different contexts. 1. Literal use. As the sun set and night takes over, the city lights began to twinkle. 2. Figurative use. After the happy days of his youth, a period of struggle began as night takes over his life. 3. Descriptive use in stories. The forest transformed as night takes over, and every sound seemed louder and more eerie. Use the phrase to describe transitions, either literally, day to night, or figuratively, good times to challenging times. It's perfect for storytelling, creating imagery, or adding emotional depth. Remember, context is key. The meaning can shift based on how you use it. I hope this exploration of night takes over has been enlightening. This phrase is a beautiful example of how language can paint pictures and evoke emotions. Use it in your conversations and writings to add depth and imagery. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the wonders of the English language with us.